Hiya folks, we're back in Forager for the big Forager nuclear update from January 2020. This is one where they've added a whole new nuclear tier and um, which makes all your equipment bigger and badder. Unfortunately it's very endgame -y type stuff so you can't jump into it straight away, you have to have an endgame -y type character like me! Hooray, hooray for me! And so um, basically to get the nuclear stuff you need to have the physics skill uh, which is quite near to the end of the skill tree but it's not too bad. Uh, to upgrade your crafting stations to the nuclear level you need to craft nuclear machinery at the factory um, but that is known as a whole thing and basically a load of ingredients that you find in the void. Uh, these days the void is a lot more forgiving. Where the hell is my entrance to the void? It's around here somewhere. Where did I park it? Where's, where's the void gone? It's around here somewhere. Ugh. There's also a, a big fat nuclear bomb that I want to craft. Because I think that should be the uh, initial focus. Where's the void? Maybe I've went out. Maybe I need a new one. That's okay, because I've got I've got some spare void entrances somewhere. If I can just get to it. Everything, everything's just so bloody cluttered now. I did not have a plan. And this is the result. I'll check out my, vo um, my vaults. I think there's a void in here. Here we go. Void portal. I'm getting showered with stuff, mate! Chill! Ow, ow! Oh, hang on. Hang on, let's give him a good tonking. Get rid. There we go. So we'll need a few more crafting stations as well as going into the void. In fact, we don't really need. We may not need to go into the void, really, because I've already been in there investigating. And you, know, you get a lot of stuff from there. Um, it's really rather good. Like onyx relics and toxic sludge and uranium and void stone and void roses, I think, as well. You get them from like, just like digging around and just generally finding them, really. Right, so let's make. Well, we've got to. As I said, we've got to make some crafting stations first because there's some things that we never actually got around to doing, such as a cauldron. So let's do a cauldron first, because that'll allow us to make bombs, which will eventually make, allow us to make the atomic bombs. Uh, yes, we want to blow shit up, quite frankly. Uh, do I, where should I put the cauldron? I've only got a cooking area. In this playthrough, I didn't really concentrate on anything like cooking. I think I've got a, a cooking pot somewhere. I don't want to do it over there, because that's all full of skellies over there. Right, okay, build it. Not there, either. But there's nowhere we can do anything, it's just too bloody full now. Let's do it here. Somewhere around here. Oh there, look! We've actually got a cooking pot right there. Fine. But we do need... Let's build ourselves. Oh, I think it's under magic. There it is. The cauldron. Put it... Let's put it there. I'm not even sure what that required. But I've got it. Got loads of things. Right, but we can already make a bomb. As well as quite a lot of cocktails and stuff. The bombs require steel, jelly, and coal. I'll make a few. Crafting is very quick these days. Bomb. Add it to the hot bar. Double bomb. Ooh, very generous. Oh, another one. I think we got six instead of five off what the hell I wanted. Things are going off over there. I think my, my lad might have been caught in something. Nah, I don't care. Right, so now we've got a bomb, we should hopefully be able to make a nuclear bomb, or an atomic bomb. Right, let's go to the factory. We've got two factories these days. This is the one I'm going to use. EMP grenade. Ooh, what do we have to do first then? To get the atomic bomb, we need the EMP grenade. Ah, that's right. And also, nuclear fuel cell. Oh, that, that's going to be a bit more of a thing. On the upside, we actually have got the stuff. This actually does require uranium and toxic sludge, which I've got somewhere on the level, in one of the vaults. We'll make one of them. Get ourselves some delicious evil of doom. Right, EMP grenade. We can make one of these now. Um, bomb and electronics. Only one electronics required for this. Make a couple of them. And that should... I have to get rid of this bloody... Look at him flapping about the place. Anyway. So now we should be able to make the bomb. The bomb! We can only make one. Well, we can only make one. There it is. So which one is it? It's that one, presumably. Well, I don't, I don't want to use it now. Not quite sure how... Apparently it's incredibly powerful. And it could, like, obliterate everything. Oh, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Um, we'll, we shall summon a lad, a sigil enemy. And that's going to be a bit of a thing, but we can't, I think we should be able to do that quite easily. And we need a sigil maker so we can summon bosses. 
Uh, however, you do need a lot of star fragments for that, so we won't do that. How Thankfully, we don't need to make a sigil maker just yet because I do have... Um, I picked this up from a travelling salesman. We do actually have a sigil already made. I'm not sure where that is. Oh, I've got it in my inventory. It's right there. Toxic sigil summons a very rude robot. Um, so we'll do that shortly. And we'll try to um, we'll try the atomic bomb on that enemy. And if we kill it, we may get some good stuff from it. Uh, it's uh, this you get something from it which will be useful in what we're doing. The legendary gem, I think it is. Or oh, you can also purchase that from the travelling merchant. In fact, since it's night time, I will have a bit of a look around just in case the travelling merchant happens to be flapping about the place because he does sell very useful stuff. Including the Legendary Gem, but also other, other good Void-related stuff and all. Unfortunately, a lot of this stuff needs some mining rods. I mean, look at this. Look at that area. That's just absolute chaos and carnage. I think, it, I think those mining rods are I think, a, bit, a bit more expensive than they used to be. Oh, I think we're in, we're in daytime now, so the merchant will have gone. Never mind. So we need to find a place where we can fight this boss. I mean, I'm fairly powerful these days. I've got six arts. Oh, oh, I'm getting slimed. So let's go over... Well, somewhere where it's a bit quieter than normal. I mean, it's fairly quiet over here. I mean, yes, let's let's do it in the desert. Well, I've never done this before. I've never fought a sigil enemy. Oh, he's, 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 there. he's right there. Right. Let's see if we can just tonk him with the regular sword then. Possibly. Well, let's try and, let's, let's try and bomb him. God. Well. Oh. K. Yeah, that was powerful. I'm not sure what happened there. It went off. Not. I thought I had a bit more time to actually get away from it, but it just blew up. Anyway, we're back. Let's just try. Oh, I've only got one health. Hang on. Quick, get some meat in me. There we go. Jesus Christ, it's tough. Who's over there now? I think we might have to use ranged weapons for this. Quick, eat, 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 eat. Oh, we bloody hell. Wait for it. Wait for me. Wait for me to... Ow, 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 ow. Why are you doing any damage? I've not even got the right health. There we go. Oh, sorry, I'm just going to tonk him. Can't even see where's my mouse gone. There it is. Move. Oh, he's got his thing out. I shall get my meat out. I've got 410 meats, which I think will do. I don't think I'm actually hurting him much at all. Ow. Thankfully, I'm slowing him down with this sword. This sword does seem to actually do that. Oh, ow, this is hurting. I'm gonna get some meat. Well, something's absolutely blasted me there. Not quite sure what. See, now my um, my that robot lad seems to have buggered off. The one that was really doing some good stuff. Ow. Try the death stick. I can't remember what the death stick does. Oh, that, that hurts. Hang on. Sigil of Doom. I mean, I could use my um, EMP grenade. Oh! oh, wow. Well, that happened again. But I got him to steam. I don't know if that actually carries over. Well, let's have a go. I'm not having much luck with the bombs, am I? I think I may, may stick away from them. It's starting to get him, look. He's not actually hurting me at the moment. Oh, he's now hurting me. I think I got him down a little bit there. Those green things do eventually explode. They don't seem to actually attack me that much. Only when they actually explode. I thought... Oh! My god. Something just absolutely annihilates me. I think it's the death ray. I'm not 100% sure. Either way. Ow! Hang on, wait, wait, wait! God damn it. 
Didn't get my meat in my gob. But I've got one life left now. My green ray needs to chill. It knocks three off me every time. Oh, god damn mass. Right, run. D Try and let it not explode on me. It explodes on me! That's the ray, the ray of doom. Move! There we go. Don't like this prick at all. As soon as he gets his ray out, I'm off. I also might avoid that. Just the time being. Oh! He's, he's, he's got it out again. Put it away, missus. I can't even get it. That's, a, that's the void portal. I don't want to use that. Right, what is best? What is best in life? I'm going to try and use this. Oh. Uh oh, careful. Hmm, music stopped. I think the music's given up with the boss music. Oh! Bub, 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 bub. Bub, 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 bub. Right, he's got his crystals out again. Now I've slowed him a little bit. It's a very, very slow process. This! I don't actually need to do that. How about you? Oh! Ray! It's, it's Ray for Ray. It's not actually hurting him, though, I don't think that. This is. A little bit. <laughs> Die, you little turd! Anyway, I've run out of them. Um, I've run out of ability now. He's not even doing his crystal lads anymore. Ow. Oh, there we go. Now he is. Let's games. Let's give him a bit more. Well, I really do need to get one of these legendary gems. I don't think I've actually had one before. Right, he's down below half now. Doesn't say huge. Oh, I've got got. Meat, 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 meat. Is he getting his ray out? No, he's not. I'm gonna have to get away from this green end. Hang on. Hey, look, a, a palm tree very briefly happened. Ah, he's gone. Well, fine. So it looks like we're not going to get a legendary gem. Which is rather irritating, but never mind! We only needed that for exactly what we needed for getting the nuclear machinery, the cosmic steel. Oh well, well, I think we can also get legendary gems, as I say, from the travelling salesman, so we'll, hatch, we'll actually definitely have to look out for that. I managed to find him a couple of times recently, where he gave me some incredibly nice stuffs. But it's not, it doesn't seem to be around at the moment, although it's. There are some zones which are... Oh, God. Get get out of the way. There we go. Now he's back, look. Xantham, whatever his name is. Right, let's have a look down here. I think it's day t night, night time. The lighting is weird these days. This is, this is just chaos down here. No, let's not worry about that. Well, I've tried the nuclear bombs. Let's just see if we've actually got... Hello, Skelly. What are you doing there? Let's see what we've actually got in the vaults. Let's see if I've actually got any legendary gems. I've got quite a lot of stuff. We've got... Sphinx... We've got local... Oh, there we go! We've got two legendary gems already. I think that was... Yeah, that must have been the travelling salesman. So at least, even though we haven't actually killed the sigil lad, at least we have got the ability to craft one cosmic steel. So let's go through the process of doing that. Now... We do need to make a spirit forge. Oh, now it's daytime. So let's build one of them. Spirit forge, which is magic. And we can put that... There, why not? What's that? Oh, nothing. That was just blue for a while, it just confused me. Right, so this allows us to... Oh, we can actually make a great skull. I'm actually going to make some of these because... They are needed for certain things. I've already got, we've got, we've got plenty of those, but we'll bit, give it a bit of a go. So, elsewhere here, we, we can make cosmic steel on it for two void steels, two legendary gems, and two star fragments. And we've got a couple of each of those. And um, we can make a nuclear... F Ooh, no, hang on. No, you can't make a nuclear fuel cell. That's somewhere... I, don't th I think that might be somewhere else. I don't think you should be crafting this many bloody... Hang on, let's go... Let's stop crafting. So we can actually make some void steel... 
here we go. Electronics, void stone, and great skull. So this is why we actually do need that. Let's make two of those. So this will help us make cosmic steel. Oh, what happened there? Something. Cosmic steel, here we go. Void steel, legendary gem, and star fragment. Only just can do this. But yeah, cosmic steel is amazing stuff. And we can use that then to make um, nuclear machinery. But we'll also need other stuff as well. So let's go to the factory. Let's go around in a circle here. Where the hell is... We've got two... There's a spare factory somewhere. Here it is. This is one I don't normally use. And here, we can make it... Well, we need to make another fuel cell. Hang on, what we actually... Nuclear machinery, here it is. So we just need another nuclear fuel cell. Thankfully we can do that, because we've still got uranium and toxic sludge. Just enough. Toxic sludge, you get... A, you seem to be able to do it in the void, by digging up the, the void roses. Is it actually making it? Wasn't, wasn't paying any attention there. Oh yes, it's because I've just made that, isn't it? Now we can actually make the other thing. We can make nuclear machinery. Uh, cosmic steel, nuclear fuel cell, and the onyx relic, which you get from the void. We will need more toxic sludge. Oh, double items! Holy shit, that was lucky. So now, in theory, we should now be able to upgrade things. I don't know how this works, but I think you... Um, let's have a look. Let's just randomly choose... That. Nope. Hang on. See, how do we do this, then? I'm getting taunt. Oh, there's, a, there's an enemy! Dares to hurt me! Absolute prick of a slime. Also, there's a farting cow. Go! Right. Let's have a go. Use. Use on structures to convert them to upgrade them. What I'm going to try and do is add it to a toolbar. And then maybe if I just, like, wave it at it, it might work. Hmm. Oh, but, uh, it happened. I've also got a reward for it. Achievement unlocked. Radioactive. So it looks like we do need to add some fuel to that. Now we've got our main nuclear furnace. Okay, so let's go and get some fuel then from the factory, presumably. Ah, we'll need some more toxic sludge now. What else you can actually do to this then? <gasps> we're doing it again. So this, this factory is also nuclear powered. So I wonder what this does then. And it never occurred to me to actually check what it actually does. Anyway, let's let's go into the void. We, we all need the toxic sludge for the lads. We can just put, there we go. Right. So as I say, this is um this is easier than it used to be. It used to it used to feel like um you had no time at all to complete even the earliest floors. But we only need tw to kill twelve enemies. So if we follow the arrow. Well, this is very narrow. Very narrow. And once um, once you've killed everything, unlike in the old days, um, the timer stops counting down. And you can just enter the portal at your leisure. So let's just quickly kill everything first. Oh, bloody hell, these are fast. And... It only seems to really get hard these days, up about, up when you get up to about level 8, level 9. And when you get to level 10, there's, there's a boss, or a couple of bosses. Uh, which takes so long to kill if you if you're not fully upgraded that you probably won't get past that level. So at least not at my level anyway. Uh, we've got three more enemies to kill. You. I'm not being super careful about picking things up because I just want to kill things before we carry on. That's a nothing of any interest. There seems to have been something spawning. There we go. Oh no, that's you. There we go. Right. So the counter has stopped. The portal should be somewhere now. But we do need some stuff, so let's tonk Void Rose. What was that actually? What was that actually? I might be wrong about the um uh this the toxic sludge. Hmm. We do need to get some stuff, so I will get a little bit. We'll need to dig some things up here, which will get us You'll get some onyx relics by digging up those spots, which is handy. This needs go donking. I don't, I'm not quite sure what I use void roses for. I haven't really been using them. 
But yes, also, these can be tonked. I mean, we don't want gold. But we do may do want this. I think this is will get us void stone. And then later on, you'll start to get other things. Oh, I know where you can get... Oh, yeah, I just remembered where Toxic Sludge is. Uh, you have to go do, through a few levels of the void, and then it starts to appear. So let's go into the portal and carry on. Oh, you portal of prickery. I have to go all the way around now. Up this really slow, annoying bit. Round the R. I seem to be steaming at the moment. And onto the next level. So you can see at the top, um, if I survive five um, levels, I will eventually get to the chest, where I might also find some useful things like uranium and sludge. So I'm nearly at the end of level five now. now I still haven't got any new resources to get. However, now I've got myself a little chesty poos, which adds a lot of uranium and toxic sludge from that chest, plus a bunch of other stuff as well. And now, when we get on to uh, the through the portal, now we should start to actually see mineable uranium and stuff. I think it's on level six. Got another five levels to another chest. Ah, here we go, look. Get you. And that added another bunch of uranium. And there's the toxic sludge. Which is good. I, I think I'm, I have a horrible feeling that these things only actually give you uranium, though. I'm not sure about the toxic sludge. I think that maybe only a chest thing. Either way, it's a bit rarer than I'd like. Right, so we're out of the void. Yeah, I guess the portal does disappear. I forgot about that earlier. So now we've got a bit more of that delicious toxic sludge. We can make another nuclear fuel cell, so let's be doing that. Oh, we can't use that factory right for the moment. We'll need to go over here to the old one. Make plenty of this. We've got an extra five toxic sludge from somewhere during that, so it is possible to get it from somewhere other than the chest. Possibly the flowers. I wasn't really sure. I don't, I th not really sure. That seems to be more just regular jelly. Either way, we now have some fuel. Now let's have a go. Let's see what happens. Let's actually go, let's just go to the regular thing. First of all. Oh, there we go. So what does that do? Does it just make it super quick, or what? Let's have a look. We get his XP by the looks of it. Double items. We're getting a lot of double items out of that. Of course, factories are probably a good thing to actually turn into nuclear stuff, because... They do a lot of the later game stuffs. We could do it with an obliterator at some point. It requires 20 cosmic steel. That's not going to happen. Not anytime soon. We can make some more EMP grenades. They always go very well for us. Spurt. Spurt. Oh, double item. Oh, God. A lot of stuff's there. Got 10 out of that. Into the 5. That's rather spectacular. So I'm trying to compare the speeds of these. Now, does it really hugely quicker than a regular one. Nevertheless, it's good. It's lovely and spectacular. I don't suppose I can make another um, nuclear machinery, can I? No, I need more. Unfortunately, I need one more cosmic steel. Which, as we know, is not going to be very likely, because we haven't got any void steel. We can make some, but we haven't got any legendary gems or star fragments, I don't think. It's quite tough. You do need to do a lot of endgame running around the place. The star fragments, a bit of a pain in the ass. But, yeah, whatever. So we are tentatively entering the nuclear age. Look at all this nonsense. Uh, yeah, so you can upgrade quite a few things, apparently. I've, I think, I mean, I've upgraded two different things, but I think all your basic machinery should theoretically be able to upgrade, which is all very tasty. Uh, but we'll stop here. That's been a look at the Forager nuclear update. Plenty of more experimentation that could be done, but it will require a hell of a lot of resource gathering. Uh, so thanks for watching. Do check out the rest of my channel or subscribe to it. Uh, check me out on Patreon if you want to support us on a monthly basis, or buy me a coffee for a one-off donation. And all the links are in the description. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.